Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Alice and I live in the Canadian East Coast. And as you see today, it's, uh, it's beautiful and sunny, but I'm not naive to believe that it's going to stay like that all day long. No, it's still Canada and it's still only April. And April and May, we can get sudden snowstorms and it just ruins your your soul because you know my soul is waiting and longing for for the spring and warm weather um a few days ago we had a big snowstorm and then right after that a big rain so the rain washed away all the snow but i know that more snow will come not too much, just a sudden one, a big one, and then and then you cry out for spring again. Well, because I am I am really ready for spring. Around Easter we traveled to the nearby city because we wanted to buy um, some decoration for the house. I can go and buy some stuff at the Dollarama here, the Canadian Dollarama here, but I also wanted to 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 find a good a good yarn for my next knittings. So unfortunately we don't have Michaels here in our city, so we had to travel to the next one. And there, yes, I bought a few yarns and also uh, some decorations. Um, if you look here, it's a kind of like a cheerful and good quality, I can tell you, like real paper, good quality decoration that would, would help me, you know, when I'm looking out, uh, just turning here and see some, some flowers. Um, I have more flowers here. If you want to see what else I bought, and what else I used to decorate my little space. Let me show you first what I created in this. Um, it's a sunroom, actually. And it's not too big, but for me, working in it is a nice space. It's very creative space, and I wanted to make it even more creating. So that's why I made this, uh, I call it coffee corner. This is the space I sit down with my husband or when my sons comes over uh, with my son. And um, I hope that my daughter and my younger son will come also and have coffee with me here. This is a beautiful uh, corner and very enjoyable. And as you see, when I finish something, I place it here to make sure that next time I'm going to introduce it to you. Well, today we will talk about this one. Uh, that was knitted uh, a couple of years ago. No, actually the last summer. But anyway, the reason I came here to show you this, this flower, this is just uh, artificial, but really, really looking good. See? <laughs> if you put something like that in your, I don't know, on your desk or on a shelf or on a, on a little coffee table, it will cheer you up. Now, what else I did? I did a big thing. I gave up the other, the other desk I had in this room. The desk was there. And so now I have the space for the chairs. And um, I just incorporated the desk into one. So I have the computer now there. And here on this wall, <laughs> I created a little garden. You want to see my garden? I want to say, isn't that beautiful? But to be honest, it's going to be beautiful because at this point I have only a few, few flowers I had in the house elsewhere. Actually on the top of the piano, which means it was a very dark spot for these. And... Um, and I, I love this corner. I found these uh, shelves. I'm not sure if it's shelf if in term of 
you know, flowers. But I found these on Amazon only for $50. And they are from bamboo, made from bamboo. And, and they are really, really nice and, and strong. So I, was, I would really, really suggest you to, to try out if you have a, a corner in your house, in your home, and, and you want to refresh your creative space. I keep saying that, but for me, it means a lot. Because when I look out uh, of the window, I see not really a living nature, but at this point, it's still just snow and rain all the time. And when you know it's sunny and the sun comes through, uh, th these beautiful flowers, then I'm really, really happy and and it helps, you know, the soul and the mind to refresh and re-energize. So I'm in love with this. And also on the top of the shelf, uh, my son is a, is a big, um, well, gardener. He's more experimenting on gardening, but he already seeded a few things that he he want to put out in the sp spring well you would be surprised we can plant these things out in the in our little garden only in the first week of june this is unbelievable the weather here but we have here this basil okay english basil and rosemary and tomatoes and cucumbers many many good things and until then we just have you know here the light for them i love those times when we travel with my husband to to the next city cities actually we are my city is between two big cities and we have a great yarn store here but because I promised myself I'm not going to order online and so far so good. It's almost a year I haven't ordered anything because I have tons of yarns and probably you know how obsessive knitting can be. But when I need a specific yarn, I love traveling with my husband and, and find that yarn in a big yarn store and I love touching those yarns and figure out if it would be good for something but I try to be very well economic and also well I'm, I, I didn't know I'm going to say it but green I love wool yarn and good quality yarn but I also try to find something that is good maybe for for the environment, for the nature. And for the sake of my children, I have to, uh, I have to use yarns, acrylic, and also uh, cotton, because they do not bother themselves, you know, with hand washing stuff. So they use the washing machine. And so for their sake, I have to use always yarn that are washing machine washable. Uh, that was difficult to say in English. But when I went to Michael's, I found a few interesting yarns. All right. As I said, I love natural yarn, like cotton. Right now I'm, I'm knitting something very simple. A summer, fresh, um, sweater with stripes. So I had the white one and probably you remember a few weeks ago, I was, um, I showed you, yes, I showed you the, uh, the V-neck sweater i had and so this is what i'm creating for that yarn i was um rewinding and uh, frogging okay i was frogging the uh the sweater and so i had the the leftovers and one more and this this is really really soft for the skin 
or for example the cardigan i'm wearing right now this is cotton and merino wool it's mine i my daughter would not would not love to wear this because it's it's uh well it's not itchy but you need <sighs> you cannot be sensitive for merino or any wool because i can sense some but I, it doesn't bother me. I, I even cannot say some itchiness, but but absolutely. I mean, it is not hundred uh, percent cotton. Only I think if I remember well, fifty percent cotton and fifty percent um, merino. Now, at the store, I found something interesting. I have no idea how it's going to turn out. At Michael's, you can find now all those new yarns um, reused. Um, like recycled yarns, even from plastic bottles. I'm not a fan of them. Uh, there were a few yarns I touched and I immediately had to put them down. It didn't feel good at all. And this was the only one or second one I, I found interesting. This is 100% polyester and this is the first time I buy something like this I must tell you this is beautiful soft I cannot sense you know the usual um, usual polyester you know polyester that you you just can't wear it uh, most of the times when I go to the store and I find something like oh good looking shirt or t-shirt or dress and I touch it and it's 100% polyester and I'm always like oh can't believe it I think so 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 maybe 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 they figured out figured out how to create you know, in a better way, uh, 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 <laughs> better feeling um, plastic. <laughs> it's still plastic, let me admit. But I'm going to knit with it, and then I will see how durable this yarn can be. And shoot. Oh, I can't believe it. I didn't pay attention. This is hand wash cold, dry flat. All right, I have to create something for myself, but I don't mind. So, when I am done with this, it means that I am more environmental friendly knitter, hopefully. And I also found this yarn and this is 79% acrylic and the rest of it is polyester I love this yarn it is it is so summerish this is the same yarn I'm going to um, show you next time this the cardigan the summer cardigan I'm actually still knitting and I have now three different version <laughs> of the same yarn and I think they are just beautiful but today I want to talk about the blue porcelain um, sweater this is a drops design free pattern 
you can download it from online and of course I will put it for you down in the description and it, it's great for summer it's great for the spring and I think it's great for summer <laughs> because it was recorded or I mean the the picture pictures were taken at the sea or ocean I'm not sure where and it gives you the feeling of, of, uh, of also lightness um, it is created the original one is created from baby merino and uh, kid silk so two uh, strains of uh, of yarns that I did not do first of all because um, I love mohair I mean I like using mohair uh, for winter stuff mm, for wool I mean to combine it with wool but I cannot imagine more hair on my skin I don't mind some wool but I'm I, I go crazy because of uh, more hair it's just way too itchy for me so instead of the yarn that is in the in the in the pattern suggested I used <clears throat> A baby yarn, a hundred percent acrylic, non pilling, well, anti pill, okay, anti pill uh, acrylic yarn. And I can tell you, this is soft and beautiful. I had doubts in the beginning. But when I started knitting with it, it is just feels good to knit with it. It felt so good that I went back to the yarn store and bought um, four more with the very soft light green color. But anyway, of course, because the measurement is different here than the pattern using here is using here therefore I had to make some adjustment but only as for the length of uh, the sweater so I wanted to share with you my experiences about about this um, sweater in what way you know I had to make some differences and why I had to make so for the first side you will notice if you compare uh, with the original one the um, the pattern uses different panels even dividing panels as you see and because of the measurements I basically had to add at the end uh, one more I think or two more panels to make it the length I wanted to have but otherwise I used the same amount of stitches according to the size small so it was it was really really great when you start knitting it it is going to begin here and when you finish the first um, panel you will notice at least for me first I made a mistake this one was not stretchy enough you know the, the shorter part I I wanted to, to knit it actually with blue yarn but the blue yarn was uh, way too thin so I have to figure out and do lots of adjustment for the uh, for the sake of the pattern and and I finished well I started the panel the first one on the back you know that's supposed to be actually here but I, I made something wrong that the pattern did not tell you in the beginning so I had to figure out myself that 
when I knit, I always, um, at the end, I always knit the last stitch. But when I turn, I never knit the first stitch. In this case, you have to do that. Knit the last one and also knit the first stitch. So then it will not like, you see, it's going up. So it would not go down the way it's supposed to go. So that would be my first uh, warning to you if you decide to knit this beautiful, beautiful pattern and sweater. Now the next one, I found it very interesting. The pattern says the left shoulder, when you pick up, you know, from here, the stitches, where am I? Yes. When you pick up the first, here the stitches, you wind up about 50 centimeter, just on your hand, and pick up the stitches. All right, we picked up the stitches, and then you drop the remaining yarn, and you go back, like pulling the, uh, the strain of the circle needle, and from the very, very same direction, you start knitting the first row. So don't forget, when you pick up the stitches, you don't turn, you don't make the second row with um, pearls, no. You just pull the, uh, <laughs> uh, um, the circle needle and start again from the same direction, the pattern itself. And the same goes for the other side as well. That took me some time to figure out. Maybe, maybe, maybe you are much better than I. So you, you, you will probably be better with reading uh, the pattern itself. I sometimes notice that um, um, drops design, and then there is a the petite neat, you know, um, vocabulary. The vocabulary is not really different, but the way they describe how you're supposed to knit is actually different. And it's confusing because then I was like, can we not tell them to do the same language? Anyway, so it took me time and that's why I want to talk about it to you and share with you the, uh, uh, my experiences. Now, the next one that was interesting is below, you know, um, um, the armpit. I was not supposed to, but I did. When you pick up you know, around the shoulder, you're not supposed to pick up right under the armpit, but I did. You supposed, according to the pattern, supposed to snow at the very end, those last few stitches. And I, I found it unnecessary. So I just pick up all around and finished uh, the way it said I was supposed to finish. It looks like so beautiful they, they measured, you know, I mean, the, oh, the creator of that pattern measured so beautifully how uh, these pattern will fit. But actually, if I open to you, you can see they do not fit 100%. There is like a little line. Where actually there is no pattern at all, which is fine. Just follow the instruction because actually it it is it is otherwise nicely written. And again, because because of the uh, the yarn measurements, I had to add one more panel to the uh, to the arm. And the last thing I wanted to tell you, I was surprised when the pattern said in the last row here, before I would finish with the rib, I was supposed to add, like increase 60 more stitches. All right. I, first I was wondering why and what? But then I realized that, yes, in the pattern, I mean, in the picture, you can see this is a very wide 
loose, uh, comfortable, oversized sweater, which I did not want to do. So I just finished uh, the sweater with the remaining uh, stitches I already had and did not even change to a smaller size of, uh, of needle. And it, for me, this is perfect. I don't, I don't want something like a skirtish, you know, uh, uh, finish, finishments. But it's true, this is an oversized, very soft, very light um, sweater. And I think I, I managed to create something not oversized, but very comfortable. Uh, you can see it on myself. I mean, you can see it on me in the pictures. And if you ever wanted, it's beautiful, free, and almost easy to knit. <laughs> this would be for today and next week, because I am very, very close to finish the, uh, the summer cardigan created from this yarn, if you remember. I asked a few people for suggestions, which... Uh, buttons I should use for this. It's not easy to decide because it looks like bluish. There are some greenish. Um, I love blue and I chose four different blue buttons for myself and I'm asking from you to choose which would be your choice. Um, maybe, maybe even white or pearlish would fit to it i'm not sure but soon next week i'm going to show you this sweater and uh, also the pattern i used i want to make sure that more often i would share with you my knitting that was created by someone's um, pattern so this way you can you can even knit all different size of cardigan and sweaters for yourself. Summer is coming. Sometimes you just have to find the proper yarn, something refreshing for the summer and just create your own, own pattern. And this one is not any special. This is a simple raglan cardigan and um, I came up with this uh, pattern from, from online. If you wanted, I can place it on the community, uh, even the, the measurements. It's, it's really easy and simple. Well, but I love actually this beautiful button. Okay, so summary. So, hope to see you next week. May you have a wonderful spring wherever you live. Spring is coming here soon. <sighs> right after the many snowstorm that is due in April and May. <sighs> Goodbye. <laughs>